hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel it's a beaver here and today i am back guys i know i've been gone for ages like you don't even need to tell me i know i've been gone for ages but i am back to be consistent i've got a life update video after this video that i'm making now so definitely stay tuned but before then let's get straight into it so today i'm going to be reviewing dr b's invincible spf 50 specifically for skin of color if you're not aware of dr b dr vinita ratan she's actually a skincare formulator and she's made this in Zincable, which is an spf 50 and it's formulated specifically for skin of color guys when i first saw this i was shocked because this is a physical SPF like it's not a chemical it's a physical mineral SPF that claims to have no white cast no white cast as a dark skin person honestly using SPF is literally trial and error because a lot of SPF actually leave a white cast especially if you want the ones with um, zinc oxide in them in comparison to a chemical one and a lot of chemical SPFs that I've used they actually contain alcohol as well which can be drying so when I came across this on Dr. Benita Ratton's channel and I also saw Dr. Alexis Steven if you're into this UK US skin influencer kind of like vibe you definitely know both of them but honestly when I saw both of them review this I thought this is definitely worth buying I'm going to show you guys the packaging of the product it basically came in this like really cute box you know there was like a black leaflet as well from Dr. B just saying you know welcome to the skincare family the um the skin of color family and all that packaging is super super cute i'm going to include a video on the side for you just to see the packaging in the box and outside of the box as well super cute and just to see that it has no fragrance no alcohol no essential oils and all this stuff is definitely very very like it's very reassuring and one thing i really like about dr b's channel is the fact that you know she takes into consideration the most sensitive of skins even though some people might be like you know why are you not recommending XYZ type of stuff? It's not like personal for you. It's just to avoid any irritation generally, which I kind of think is very, very considerate. So I thought, why not buy this SPF? So I paid about 29 pounds for this, 28, 29 pounds, which I think, you know what? It's not bad, but it's kind of pricey. Like, especially if you're a student as well, this is kind of pricey because you want to apply SPF often, but knowing that it has no fragrance, no alcohol, and is specifically made for skin of color, I was like, you know what? Maybe it is worth it. So I didn't mind paying that extra bit for it. And alongside actually being made for skin of color, the fact that this has niacinamide, it's anti-inflammatory, which also helps with hyperpigmentation because inflamed skin can get hyperpigmentation very easy. Not only are you like protecting your skin, you're also preventing hyperpigmentation as well. So alongside it being anti-inflammatory, it also contains tyrosinase inhibitors. If you know about tyrosinase inhibitors, you know that they also help in preventing hyperpigmentation. I'm going to link a video below that you can watch to just see how tyrosinase, inhi tyrosinase inhibitors gosh help prevent hyperpigmentation but honestly seeing the list of products that it contains i was like you know what this isn't so bad and one thing i also have to note is the fact that dr v specified that this contains melashield and also dr alexis stevens also mentioned it as well and melashield is like a patented technology that you know helps prevent hyperpigmentation so this is like a protector a skin protector whilst also being an hyperpigmentation preventer at the same time guys this sounds like a superhero and i'm just going to share with you my first impressions of it and just some faqs about my skin i have oily acne prone skin i deal with texture i break out on my forehead particularly but honestly i thought i should invest in a good spf because honestly honestly <laughs> prevention is better than cure and i definitely think that having a good spf is the first step into having a great skincare routine because if you're using a lot of actives and you're not protecting your skin with spf then what are you really doing so that is why i chose this product alongside its benefits it's also you know a great prevention for hyperpigmentation in the future I'm gonna jump straight into using this so the first time that i applied this onto my skin it literally felt so good like the texture feels good it applied really really well onto my skin and apparently you're supposed to like dot it around across your face and then rub it in but the first time i used it i actually didn't do that and i ended up having a bit of a white cast and i had to rub it in for a lot longer 
the thing about the white cast is it doesn't stay there like I, do, I don't think the white cast just stays onto your skin you literally have to like rub it in properly and I guess it's kind of like a compromise you have to make because zinc oxide is white and like it has to go into the skin but honestly if it's gonna mean you know rubbing it into my skin for a, few, a minute longer or so i don't mind i had to rub it in for about like two minutes three minutes which isn't so bad my chemical sunscreen i definitely just apply on and it absorbs straight into my skin but the only con of chemical sunscreens is the fact that they contain a lot of alcohol and alcohol is drying like alcohol dries out your skin and honestly if it's the little price i have to pay of rubbing it in a bit more to not have dry skin then you know i don't mind it's it's worth the compromise so i definitely had to rub it in a bit longer and after rubbing it in guys i noticed a bit of a sheen 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 yeah sheen and as i mentioned earlier i have oily skin already and i don't want to be oilier i definitely think this is formulated for people with like you know dry to normal skin actually but if you have oily skin it's definitely worth a shot like just make sure like you know you apply a lighter moisturizer before using it i think dr v actually specified that she made this product for herself and she has dry skin so understandable but you know the oily girl is need their own thing too so i think those are like my two minor cons really the fact that i really had to rub it in for a long time for me like rubbing something into my face for like two to five minutes is it's a lot and the fact that there's a slight sheen to it but i do think the sheen goes away because i applied my makeup on after and it applies beautifully on with makeup literally once you put your powder on everything kind of like settles in and even now this is after like six seven hours of wearing my makeup and it still looks intact i didn't top it up though because i've been indoors mostly all day but dr Benita ratten says you can actually top up your spf onto your makeup and I don't think I'll be topping up my SPF on top of my makeup because I feel like it's kind of dirty because you know you're gonna use the brush that you've used already to apply foundation and tap it in I don't know how I feel about that I definitely have like an SPF spray or powder that I use but I won't be like applying this straight onto my makeup but just overall I definitely think this is worth it it feels good the sheen is definitely a downside you know and the price also <laughs> it, it's pricey let me just be honest i think it's quite pricey in comparison to like you know the other spf it's almost double the price of la roche per se but la roche also has alcohol in it so that is like again the price you kind of have to pay i would love to see one for oilier skin types like i would really love to see it because this does give me a sheen and i'm worried if, what about the days i don't want to wear makeup or wear powder and i just want to moisturize and put my spf on will i be looking like a disco ball so definitely those are my thoughts on this but honestly i think it's nice to see someone formulate a product for people with you know skin of color especially being darker and honestly having nightmares in terms of like finding an spf that actually works for your skin with no alcohol if you have sensitive skin this is what you need obviously again the price but this is well thought out the products the ingredients make sense like this contains niacinamide like what more could you want <laughs> so definitely definitely worth it in my opinion would give it a good eight and a half nine out of ten again the downside sheen and honestly that's about it really definitely worth it i don't know about reapplication but kudos to dr Renita ratten for actually making this and if you would like me to review her other products on her skincare line definitely give me a shout to review that but as i said again that is all i have on this don't forget to like share subscribe and if you would like more content like this definitely give me a sub and i'll see you in my next video bye